the fifth missed physical exam finding, and again, you would be really surprised how often this happens, is a fracture of the clavicle. So this can happen, obviously we would expect it to happen more if it's a huge baby with a difficult vaginal delivery and a shoulder dystocia, but it can also happen in a pretty uncomplicated delivery. So make sure that you are feeling all along the length of the clavicle from the proximal end to the distal end. If you can't feel the whole clavicle from beginning to end, or if you feel crepitus, which is kind of like a bubbly popping feeling somewhere along the clavicle, then the baby may have a fracture. The most common places for the fracture are right in the middle of the clavicle. So that's kind of the most common place that we would feel the crepitus. If an infant does have a fracture, then make sure that they don't have any other abnormalities. For example, they don't have an Erb's palsy or even a Klumpsky's paralysis or something. Um, and then also you should probably get an x-ray to actually confirm that the infant does have a fracture. Luckily, baby bone is unbelievable at repairing itself. So really, in most cases, no splinting is required, no pain medications are required. Just let the parents know that as that bone starts healing, they might feel like a bony lump there um, for really a few months until that all kind of smooths itself out again.